If you have bought an Arduino Nano from eBay or AliExpress and you have paid only 2 euro for that, that Arduino is not an original Arduino, it's a clone version. Now if you connect that Arduino to your computer for the first time, you might have an issue uploading a code into your Arduino. Now in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve this problem. Here I have Arduino software and uh, let's click on the tools section and then on the port section. Here you can see that the software detects port COM3 in my case. Now this port has nothing to do with my Arduino because I haven't connected my Arduino Nano to my computer yet. Now I'm going to connect that one to, to my computer. So as you can hear, Windows detects a new device and uh, after a few seconds, Windows says that your device is ready, you can use it. But if you look at this section, the port section, we see that nothing new appears in this section. So still we have this COM3, which is not related to my Arduino. Now if I try to upload a code to my Arduino, I will have an issue. So I I take a code from the inbuilt examples. So let's say take the blink code. So here is the LED blink, which is the internal Arduino LED. Um, now I try to upload that code into my Arduino Nano and you see that I have this problem. No matter how many times I try, that problem is still there. The issue is that um, for this Chinese made Arduino, the driver is not um, available in Arduino software package and Windows cannot detect them properly. So what we have to do is to install their driver manually and uh, that will solve our issue. So now let me show you how to do that. So first we open a browser. So here I have the browser. This is the browser. Here I have a link which basically you have to copy into your browser and then um, open this web page. I put this link into the description section. Here the, the web page actually has the driver for this Arduino, Chinese made Arduino, both for Windows and for, for Mac, whatever operating system that you have. So after you download the driver, you will have it saved on your computer. It comes in a compressed file, it's a zip file, so you have to unzip it and then you have to install it uh, on your computer. You may need your administrator username and password. After you do that, then basically a little program appears on your computer. Now you can actually install the driver of this um, clone Arduino. When you finish with it, basically it says that, okay, the driver is successfully installed. Now if you go back to the tools section and to the port, you can see that my computer has now port COM4 here. And this is the, the port that really communicating with my Arduino. That Arduino communicates through this port to my computer. If I try to, I take the blink code again and I upload the code into my Arduino. And you can see that we can successfully upload the code into our device. Now there might be another issue that prevent you from uploading your code into your Arduino. And that is related to the processor part. So from tools to processor, by default the first option is checked. So maybe you originally you have this one. And in this case if you try to upload the code you will have an issue. This uploading part will, will never finish. And if you try it again, then uh, you will face uh, an error, basically. So if you try it again, an error occur. There is problem with uploading. So you know that you have to change this to the second one, to the old, old bootloader, basically. If we try it now, in the first attempt, you will see the error again. But if you wait a few seconds, then the upload will be completed. And if you try it again for the second time, then you will not, you will not see any, any more error. I hope this information was helpful for you. Have a nice time. Bye.